astrology soulmates and welcome to your horoscope for the week of September 7th where this week we've got two opportunities for this shift in direction that's happening this week. Most specifically, we've got Mars going retrograde. We've got Jupiter coming out of retrograde. So we are going to feel some energy of stationing this week, which can just create these shifts in our energetic bodies that I want you to be aware of as we're stepping into the week. Now, we're not going to see Mars take his official retrograde until the 9th and then Jupiter will hit at the end of the week on the 12th. But but still leading up to it if you can just kind of know that it's like when when things get a little wonky or you feel your body shift this is a time where when it's stationing when planets are stationing there is a lot of intensity that comes with that in the energetic movement of what's going on around us so we have that to look forward to this week but also kicking off right at the beginning of the week on Monday bringing in Labor Day in the United States Michael A. Bryan will be here and we will be discussing what it takes to be a badass astrologer so so I'm really excited to have him over for an eat and greet. So make sure you check it out. He will be here at 10 a.m. Mountain Time. So you can check that out. Come join the eat and greet live. Maybe you're home. You can watch it back on the Play Black later, whatever works for you. As well, the Autumn Equinox gifts are still out. And yes, they are booking further and further. And I think that the list is getting um, pretty full. So if you'd like a spot, you can always take advantage of that. And if you are looking for a session sooner, the regular and priority appointments are still up. Up, so make sure that you check those out okay and last piece of business here if you are a member of a fan or if you've been considering being a member of a fan this week is our town hall and town halls are phenomenal it's a quality or a piece of the membership that you come in we have these different topics we discuss challenges that astrologers are facing or the astrology community is facing and we get feedback and resources together it's really a good time so we're having a town hall this week on tuesday it's going to be at 6 30 until 7 30 uh, mountain time so you can check that out i'll put all of the information in the description box down below as well okay all right let's jump in let's see what's going on in the sky this week so to kick off this week i love how we're coming in besides the fact that we have michael a Bryan coming over but we also have got the jupiter Neptune sextile. Now Jupiter is still retrograde. Neptune is still retrograde at this particular time. And we've seen these energies before. We saw them in February and in July. And now we're going to see them here as we are in September. And these energies as they come together, it is a beautiful day of creativity. It's a beautiful day of like, it's almost like I want to say goodwill on earth and, and peace on earth and goodwill to man. I mean, I know it's a little early we say that at Christmas time, but that's kind of the vibe of the day. As well as these two come together, and especially in this retrograde, I think we get to start off our week saying, am I aligned? Am I really spiritually aligned? aligned with my growth potential, with my ability or my potential to expand out. This is a creative energy. This is a lot of magic, a lot of growth. And growth potential here is not just your ability to be a better soul, but your ability to make profit from your creative talents also comes under this energy. So I think it's absolutely delicious as we start out the week. Now we get to Wednesday and we're going to see Mars taking this retrograde. It's going to take us retrograde in the energy of Aries. So if you have Mars in Aries, this may be um, a time that is a little bit more intense. If your progressed Mars is in Aries, you may find that this time is a little bit more intense for you because some retrogrades are real crazy and some are not. But we don't get weird during a retrograde, we get wise, right? So use it very well. But as this uh, Mars energy goes retrograde, it's gonna start its retrograde at 28 degrees of Aries, and it will go all the way back to 15 degrees of Aries and come out um, in November at November 13th. So all of it is in the energy of Aries. So even if you don't have Mars in Aries, even if, it, if you're not in Aries, look to the Aries portions of your chart to see where these degrees are impacting you and you'll feel the flow and you'll feel the, um, the burn <laughs> of the retrograde uh, in those particular areas. And the nice part is that Mars has been in shadow. So he's been slowing down, preparing for this retrograde. So I just ask you, 
What have you been seeing over the last month? What house for you has been lit up and it's been asking you this question about your motivation, about your desires, about maybe where you need to be a little bit more assertive. Um, Maybe you've needed a new strategy around something. Mars is our planet of action and energy and assertion and aggression, but it's also our desires, the strategy, the actions we are actually taking. So over the next couple months, one of the things I'm going to tell you is re-look at your strategy. Re-look at Do you genuinely have the desire to be doing what you're doing? Are you in alignment with your growth potential, whatever that looks like for you? And are you taking the right actions to allow that strategy to play out? I think Mars retrograde is a beautiful review time for that. Anytime a planet goes retrograde, we want to be reviewing backwards. We want to look back and review, re-edit, reconnect, re-strategize, re-energize. That's the other thing I'll tell you. During this Mars retrograde, if you need to take a break from the doing, 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 and you need to re-look at your life, get reprioritized. We've got a Virgo new moon coming up. Get reprioritized so that your energy can go deliciously, efficiently, and effectively into the things that actually need your attention, not maybe the things that are ego-driven, not maybe the things that it's like, oh, well, I used to be able to work out this hard and this long, or I used to be able to do that. And by used to, I mean in January, and then COVID happened, and then a slowdown happened, and then the pace of the world got different. Different. So where can you re-look at what your energy is most efficiently going to? And sometimes, I'll just say this, depending on the area of your life that this is happening in, you may feel for a couple weeks here like you literally are allergic to motivation. You're like, Stormy, I can't. Like, I just, ugh, I don't even know. And that's okay. Give yourself a break from needing to compete against yourself from the busy hustle. Take care of yourself Ask yourself the questions about your real life desires, okay? All right, as we get to, oh, on the 9th, on the same day, we've got the sun in a trine to Jupiter, who is retrograde. Now, I do like this energy, and it's happening in Earth energy. So the sun in Virgo, Jupiter over here in Capricorn. So this is all going to be happening at 17 degrees. So make sure you mark that out on your chart as well. So this is a day where... As these two sex are trying each other, the trine creates a pocket of opportunity. So it's kind of a silver lining in the week a little bit, right? Where the sun here is is talking to Jupiter and they're like, okay, we can expand. We can. We, we can get organized. We can really do well. We can be efficient. We can be effective. It's a creative energy. And it's almost like the strategy and the proficiency of Virgo ends up meeting the luck and the fortune of Jupiter. Jupiter, they come together and opportunity is presented in a trine, but you have to move towards that opportunity. You have to take advantage of the opportunity. So this is a day where if you're looking, you're willing, you're ready to be in it, in your given houses, in your chart, there could be a lucky break. There could be a pocket of opportunity for you to do a little bit of expansion here. So take advantage of this energy on this particular day. I mean, these two are not from the Virgo to Capricorn energy with the Sun and Jupiter, they're not going to come together again this year, so really use that. As we get to Friday, September 11th, we see the Sun and Neptune coming together in their annual opposition. Now, when the Sun and Neptune are opposing each other, it is like the Sun's pulling one way, Neptune's pulling the other, and Neptune is retrograde. So it's kind of this very vague, watery pull that's happening. Neptune actually weakens the strength of the sun here or it changes the quality with which the sun can deliver its strength on its sign. But I will tell you that I think more than anything where I go when I see Neptune getting involved, especially here in 2020, is to paying attention to our bodies, paying attention to our mental health, mental wellness, because this becomes a space where there's a little bit of walking in between the worlds and things can become a little bit um, vague or they're just not as clear. There's an element of confusing that can come to the table with this uh, for sure. So I think it's really important. Just pay attention to yourself. Mars is slowed down. Mars in Aries is again pointing us to the physical body. Is there something you need to pay attention to within your own physical realm to make sure that you're doing all right, you're safe, sane, healthy, motivated, and all of that good stuff. Now, at the end of the week, Jupiter is going to come out of retrograde. He's been sleeping uh, since May, I believe. Is it May? Did he go? May? It's May. 
May. <laughs> He's been sleeping since May and Jupiter will be coming out of retrograde at 17 degrees of Capricorn. So identify where this has been in your chart. But as Jupiter comes out of retrograde, what he's essentially saying is, did you learn? Did you see where I'm showing you, you maybe need more training, you need more information, you need more in order to increase your ability to expand and to hold space with the wisdom that you have to give away, to teach, to share. I really think too that this is a time where as Jupiter comes out of retrograde, you've seen some things, you've gained some wisdom and experiences. So it's like believe. We have to believe that you can really have, you can really do, you can really be, it can really work out, right? All of these questions of how expansive it can be, and we've had Neptune interacting with the sun this week. There is this place where I feel like the goodness of fortune and faith and believing that good things, and not even that it has to be a good thing, believing that what you want and what you have to give is enough and is available for you to share with the world. So Jupiter out of retrograde, I think, is a lovely time for you to take note for yourself what you've learned and are you ready to go and expand that to strengthen the structures of your own life. So it's going to be an absolutely beautiful week. I think, but I think it is also a week where we have to be mindful of the energetic shifts of the body that are going on, maybe even some of us in the mind that it's going on, and take a little bit of special attention to making sure that your body is getting rest, that it is getting fed in ways that are good for you, that your mind is being cared for, and definitely that you are finding the space and the place this week to celebrate the fact that you have something you want, something you do, something that you're about, something that you're a part of, and that that thing has real potential to be something beautiful in your life and for the rest of us out here in the world. So. So I know that some weeks can have this kind of free-floating anxiety that's there. Many people have been experiencing that, so I promise you, you are not alone. But there is a lot of gold nuggets that are available this week as well. So I look forward to seeing you all week long. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in the eat and greet at the town hall for AFAN in the appointments we have together. I'll see you soon in a new moon video if you're a part of Astrology Hub. I'll see you all through September and most of October as the lunar guide so there is a space and a place out there for us to connect and I look forward to meeting you there. All right you guys like this video comment share subscribe I love you and I'll see you next week. Bye!